morning, everyone. It's good to see everybody here today. It's going to be a hot one, so we'll try and keep it short today. I do have a couple of announcements I want to bring to your attention. Uh, Bill Goss is having hip surgery, hips replacement surgery tomorrow. So we want to pray for Bill Goss. Uh, we also want to keep Barb Bagard in our prayers. Uh, most of you know her son died this past week. Um, I think we're going to try and do some fundraising for that, maybe through a GoFundMe page or maybe something is already set up. Uh, we'll get more information about that later, but we want to pray for uh, Bill and Barb both. I do want to read um, need a hat holder up here. I want to read part of uh, Romans chapter 14 before we get started here. If you'd like to follow along, I think it's the first four verses of Romans 14. <clears throat> now accept the one who is weak in faith, but not for the purpose of passing judgment on his opinions. One man has faith that he may eat all things, but he who is weak eats vegetables only. Let not him who eats regard with contempt him who does, who does not eat, and let him who does not eat judge him who eats, for God has accepted him. Who are you to judge the servant of another? To his own master he stands or falls, and stand he will, for the Lord is able to make him stand. I picked this verse out for a reason. I know I have co-workers who don't believe that this virus is real. Uh, you know, they think it's a government conspiracy and whatnot. I know, um, I know there are some in the church, not necessarily here, but there are some in the church who believes that the virus does not exist. Um, but what I want to apply that verse to is, even if you feel that way, even if you're skeptical about it, to honor your brother and sister, you need to be wearing a mask and practicing social distancing. Uh, you don't want to offend your brother. You want to do what's best for them. If we have love for our brothers, we're going to do what's best for them anyway. And I think that's part of that. So I just want to recommend that as you have opportunity to wear a mask, maintain that social distance, keep regard for one another and do good for each other, do good for your neighborhood. And keep all that in mind that, you know, we are a light to the world at this time, especially by our actions, you know, others may see Christ in us. Let's begin with a prayer. Father, we thank you for this new day you've given to us. We thank you for the opportunity to be together to worship, to praise you, uh, to encourage one another. Father, help us to be a light to the world. Help us to always do what's best for others, to show our love, to show your love to others. Uh, Father, we have those who are in need of our prayers. We, we pray for Bill and his surgery tomorrow. We pray for Barb and her tragic loss. And, Father, we ask that you would comfort her as, as only you can. Help us to find ways to reach out in this difficult time. Uh, Father, we, we thank you for loving us. We thank you for Jesus. Help us to exhibit Jesus daily in our lives. And it's through him we pray. Amen. Our first song will be the Glory Land Way, and if you're using the app, it's just Glory Land Way. <clears throat> I'm in the way, the bright and shining way, I'm in the Glory Land Way. Telling the world that Jesus saves today, yes, I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. Heaven is 
is dearer and the way grew is clearer for I'm in the glory land way. Onward I go rejoicing in his love. I'm in the glory land way. Soon I shall see him in that home above. I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. I'm in the glory land way. Heaven is nearer and the way grow with clearer for I'm in the glory land way. The song before the Lord's Supper <clears throat> will be Come to the Feast. So after this song, we'll be <clears throat> led in the communion. <clears throat> All things are ready. Come to the feast. Come, for the table now is spread. Ye famishing, ye weary, come. And thou shalt be richly fed. Hear the invitation. Come whosoever will. Praise God for full salvation. For whosoever will. All things are ready. Come to the feast, come for the door is open wide. A place of honor is reserved for you at the Master's side. Hear the invitation, come whosoever will, praise God. For full salvation, for whosoever will. All things are ready, come to the feast, leave every care and worldly strife. Come feast upon the love of God and drink everlasting life. Hear the invitation, come whosoever will, praise God from full salvation, for whosoever You know, uh, <clears throat> Friday night I stood up in that corner of the parking lot and I looked that way. If you want to do that tonight, if it's clear, it's a pretty good spot to see the Noah's Comet. It takes a while for your eyes to adjust, but I, I was watching that comet and trying to take a photograph of it and I thought about, you know, we talk about the glory of God and, and the heavens and it's pretty cool to see, see something like that and see the handiwork of the Lord in front of your eyes like that. It's a once in a lifetime. I've got to see two comets now. So it's a twice in a lifetime event. So you haven't got to see it. Hurry up. You've got 2,000 years if you don't get it this time. But you know, God is great. And because of his greatness, his love is even greater. And because of that great love, he stood on the cross for us. He hung on that cross because of his love for us. And he freed us from so much stuff that we have a, a great hope, a great life, a great love in our hearts because of what he did for us. So this morning as we commune together, as we break the bread and taste the wine, that we remember that this love is beyond our comprehension. And it's not a once-in-a-lifetime event like a comet, but
that is a daily event in our lives. Let's, let's give thanks. So Father, we are thankful for this bread that represents the body of Christ, the walking atonement of, for our sins, the walking love for our souls, for the blessed redemption. And we're thankful for your love and for Christ and his, his, his glorification and, and a hand on that cross because of, of who we are. And because of that, we remember his death. We remember his resurrection. We thank you for this time together to remember him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we likewise, we are taking this cup in our hands. This is Jesus and his apostles did so many years ago. We said, take this and drink. This is my blood. And because of his spilt blood, we have forgiveness of our sins. We have a glorious life. We have uh, looking forward to worship you in your presence and our future. We thank you for it time we reflect on Christ his love and sacrifice and the blood that cleanses us. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Our next song will be Soldiers of Christ Arise. This will also be the song before our lesson. If you are able, can you please stand with me for this song? Soldiers of Christ, arise and put your armor on. Strong in the strength which God supplies. Strong in the strength which God supplies through his beloved Son. Strong in the Lord of hosts and in his mighty power. Who in the strength of Jesus trusts. Strength of Jesus, trust is more than conqueror. Leave no unguarded place, no weakness of the soul. Take every virtue, every grace. Take every virtue, every grace, and fortify the whole that having all things done and all your conflicts past you may all come through Christ alone you may all come through Christ alone and stand entire at 